funny. Um, in my bio, there's a thing. Of, there's a, a page or a, a line about me singing into teacups um, because I, if you're talking into um, like a, you know like a, a, a whatever a cup whatever it is, like you can actually hear your voice back, and it's really fun. So I'll sit there like at night, keeping my grandparents up, just like singing and you know whatever it is. And my grandfather's like, uh uh, like, you're missing that time. <laughs> I used to like so I grew up like in I grew up in the Seventh Day Adventist church. Um, and we used to go to church a lot, so I always used to like sing the, you know, the, um, the, uh, the hymns or whatever. And, and he's like, oh, no, 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 way off. That, that's just like, you went, fuck, so I'm like, you're just hating, you know? But um, eventually, that's kind of like how it started. So I like, around six or seven wow. was like the, the, the age, like I can remember specifically because I'm, I'm using the time, um, I'm time on phone, I left from uh, Jamaica to Canada. I used to live in Canada when I was like 10. Oh, wow. So it was like just like a good couple, you know, three or four years before that. So maybe six or seven years old. Right. Um, and then that usually, like, that, that was like when I really, um, that, that's definitely that, that was when I, 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 wow. like, I knew it, I felt it. Yeah. Who do you make your music for? Um, well, now, uh, before, I used to do a lot of stuff for like, this is how I'm feeling. Right. And this is what I want to say. And the um, majority of the stuff that I do today is like usually coming from a personal place. Um, and a lot of times it's kind of like I know what I'm, I mean by certain things and where I'm coming from right. and it's always honest that's the thing that I love about the, um, the situation that I'm in and, and the people I'm working with that I know um, is that I can um, be honest with myself as a writer mm -hmm. and like if this moves me and I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people that you know that will relate to this right. and that's that's a beautiful thing about being in this, in this environment and you know working with so many amazing people, you know, and it's like, I make, I think I made, like, to, to, you know, to further answer your question, I think I make pe music for people who, like, can't get out of bed in the morning, like, just a level of inspiration, like, because that's kind of, like, how, like, my, you know, my life and my story, like, and stuff that I've had to, um, you know, that I go through, like, it's, like, I feel like there are, like, a lot of people um, that are going through, you know, the same things or even, right. even more, and, like, you know, pain is relative. Sometimes, as people, we tend to doubt our ability to be great, mm -hmm. and whether it's because of fear or lack of confidence or not being sure of, you know, ourselves. Have you ever had that moment? Have you ever been in that space? Of like being just unsure of like what? Being unsure, just lacking or doubting your ability to be great. Or have you just always known like, you know what I mean? Like have you always owned your greatness? Um, I'm sure it's, it's you know, it, it would be a lie to sit here and be like, no, I thought everything was great. I thought everything was great. <laughs> There's, there's moments where like yeah. I'm sitting like I'm just kind of like um, but again you know to further uh, reiterate like I've never felt like the need of like I can't do this and I wasn't meant for it so are you able to, to hear it to the point where you know like okay this is perfect like this is how I want it uh, well yeah and it's because I can remember it's the same thing I said about like, the, the birthday card like, right. I've always wanted to like say what it is I feel right. and like it's just like I, I, I did that's why like, I find and it's probably like something I need to work on. Like I find a way, like uh, um, to um, over explain stuff because like if I feel like it hasn't really been said, I just ne never ever want to be misrepresented. Right. So I want to say exactly how I feel. And whatever the situation right. is, this is how I feel. And if like I get that across, I'm cool with that. So like as far as like when I listen to certain things, I want to doing them. It's um, I want them to um, like when I hear it, I'm like it does. It doesn't move. It's got to move me. Right. That's one of the first things. It has to be. And that's what I when I heard I can't lie. Yeah, no, it, it's it it's, it's personal me. because like yeah, that, the line the line um the line um I wish you wings when I set you free. People would think because the story is about like, you know, maybe you know if I failed you I'm sorry. Well who's who am I talking to? Right. So do they do they look at you like now and everything that you've done, the success that you've gained so far and be like, Wow, like the saddest thing is that they're all deceased, they all died when I was 17. Oh, wow. And there's like literally no support. No. Because we don't, I don't get birthday cards. I never grew up with like Happy Birthday and Merry Christmas. Uh -huh. I never grew up with any of that. So it's is like, your family, do you have any family? Here I, my, or I have a lot of family. My family is like, I could probably fool the Rose Bowl with my family easily. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot. I have nine sisters and four oh, brothers. Wow. One of them died um, fairly recently. Um, and um, thank you. Um, so it's like a very large family. The, the, the trick though is um, is um, is being able to like actually pull yourself up. Sometimes it, it can be difficult, but you know, like you have those moments when something will happen when you meet someone or like someone has to give you a message mm -hmm. and you take that message and like the other night, the other day, you know, when I met someone and that message was for me mm -hmm. and 
in that life, in your path, there are going to be people that... You can actually say who it is if you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, for her, like, that was, that was for me, that, that was... That was genuine from her. That was so genuine. Yeah, yeah, and it her. literally, like, when I tell you that I needed it, when yeah. I tell you that... And what was funny, what you, you see the beauty of how it is, though, like, Man. because for me, like, even in that situation, um, you know, it, it's, it's, um, it, it's, it's not a, it's not, um, it's not, it's not nothing that's quote unquote plan. It's just a sense of like you know, you, you yeah. know it's a really cool person. You should yeah. you should connect with them yeah. and like making that making that connection. And um, I got so emotional. I was crying. I was just like because it's like I didn't have to say everything. I didn't have to tell you my story. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to tell him anything. It was like he, he already knew. You yeah, know, he's a um he he's an extraordinary him. person. Man, he's just like he's a really positive individual and yeah. it's like to have somebody like that as far as you know what he was what, what he has done yeah. musically um be in your corner genuinely and you know yeah. it's not he would just actually tell you like you know man like i honestly feel like golfing is a really good thing i could totally see you being the next tiger Woods. he would actually tell you if he felt that and even then the level of belief that i have in myself and confidence like yeah. i think it would take about you know four of them guys <laughs> early to tell me not to do it because right. of just a belief system right. not that you don't trust or respect his right. opinion is just a sense that you need to have that much. It's like people used to say, like, you know, in order to do stuff, you have to be, um, you have to be dedicated to your, to your craft. Yeah. And I, I beg to differ. I think you have to be obsessed, almost like a stalker, yeah. with your craft. You know how they say, brilliance is that line between madness and insanity, insanity and, and insanity. insanity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think it, like they, any, I think anybody who's ever really, you know, done that has battled stuff like that. But at the end of the day, there's never, I don't think, there, there's moments where they feel like they can't, but then there's the stronger moments is when they feel like they can't. They can. It's like for every, for every time I feel like I can't, I have 10 more reasons why I can't.